Okay, we are really making some great progress now. So over the next couple of videos now, let's go and send some crypto from our online exchange to our MetaMask. In this video, we'll send from Binance, and it doesn't matter if it's Binance.com or Binance.us, but we're going to send some of our BNB from Binance to MetaMask. And in the next video, we'll do the same from a non-Binance exchange, so Coinbase in my uh, example, and we'll send in that case the Ethereum that's in Coinbase to MetaMask. But for now, though, we're going to send BNB from Binance to MetaMask, okay? So let me ask you this. What do you think, if we're going to send some cryptocurrency from Binance to MetaMask, what do you think logically would be the first thing that we need? Think about this. This is not a trick question. I just want to see kind of how your brain is thinking here. So the question is, we're sending some crypto from Binance to MetaMask. What's the first thing that you think we need? If you said something like, an address to send to, you'd be absolutely correct. That it kind of makes logical sense, doesn't it? We need to know, you know, an account number or a, or a mailing address. Where are we actually sending it to at MetaMask? And do you remember, if you remember when we looked at MetaMask a few videos ago, I did actually show you where that address is. But of course, we're going to go and do that in this video. So we'll do all that right now. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's go back to the web. And here we are. Let's click on Mr. MetaMask here and it will pop open. Let's grab the password that I would have changed, I'm afraid, by the time you're watching this video. I know you're thinking of trying to hack in. Uh, and let's log in to my MetaMask and we are in. Now, again, we've talked a few times, haven't we, about the various blockchain networks, haven't we? And of course, we installed the BSC network, also known as the BNB chain. I bet even a week ago, all well, this language would have been like, what's he even talking about? Now, hopefully, it's beginning to make a little bit of sense. The more we do it, of course, the more it becomes second nature. And remember, we toggle between the networks just by clicking on the network itself, and we are presented with the various networks. Now, when it comes to sending BNB from Binance, do you remember me saying what network we need to use? It's kind of a clue in the, in the name here of the network. You got it. The BNB chain. We need to make sure that we have got BNB chain selected at MetaMask because that's the kind of the network that we're going to send our BNB from, in this case, Binance. And it's going to go through the BNB chain network and it's going to appear in our MetaMask wallet. So make sure you have the correct network selected. This is a common mistake a lot of people make. So make sure you have the correct network. And if at any time you're not sure, just ask, OK? So then let's grab our address. And do you remember this is our address up here? So let me copy here. It's a bit kind of, you can't see that clearly, but that is our address. It's a public address, so it's very safe to share. So I'm going to copy that. And let me grab my handy dandy document again. And look, oh, I'd already written the address in there. But let me, uh, I always like to triple make sure I've got it correct. So there is the address. Let me make that a little bit bigger. In fact, I have this thing where I always like to, I like to use what's known as plain text like this. It's a bit smaller on the eye, but it just means there's no characters or anything. I just feel that's a bit safer. So that is my MetaMask address. I know it's a little bit smaller. In fact, let me, I will make it a bit bigger just for this video. Doesn't really matter, Chris, does it? No, it doesn't. There we go. So there is the MetaMask address that we're sending to. Okay, so now, oops, I just accidentally clicked away. So now we're going to send our BNB from Binance here. So let's go to Binance. With me so far, we're going to Binance. And we will send our BNB from Binance to this address here, and it will appear here in our MetaMask. So here we are at Binance. Uh, let me go to my wallet. We hover over wallet. Let's go to Overview. At the next page, we want to hover over Fiat and Spot here. We've done this before. Uh, in the search area, search for your asset that you want to send, BNB in this case. And here it is, just over one BNB. Now, if we move. To the right-hand side, there's various actions here. Buy, sell, deposit, withdraw, trade, earn, convert. Let me ask you a question. What do you think out of these seven? What are we going to do right now? What would you say? Are we buying it? Are we selling? Are we depositing? Are we withdrawing? What do you think we're doing? We are. Think about it logically. We're about to what? Withdraw, aren't we? We're withdrawing our BNB from Binance to send to MetaMask here. Uh, and as you've noticed, the MetaMask because it's a, 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 a browser extension, it will pop up over various pages, so it kind of is really helpful. So therefore, we go to withdraw here, and when we do, now there's a few things I want to go through here. Again, it's all very, very step by step, but 
a lot of people do make mistakes because they rush. They're not too sure what they're doing. So let's see what we've got here. It's saying at the top, withdraw crypto. It's exactly what we want. We're withdrawing it to send it to MetaMask. So withdraw crypto, select the coin, BNB. If you, eventually, the more advanced you get, you might have other stuff you want to send. In the drop down menu, you can choose whatever assets you have. But for now, BNB. Where are we sending it to? What's the address? We just grabbed the address, haven't we, from MetaMask. So, and of course, let's remind ourselves it was here. There, that address up there. So we just paste that here. Next field we're being asked to populate, network. What network are we sending this on? We've just talked about this. What is the network that we're sending it on? Remember, there's two networks at MetaMask. What network are we sending it on? Well, it's actually automatically populated here for us anyway, but it is the BSC network, the Binance Smart Chain network, also known as the BNB Smart Chain. Uh, by default, I automatically pull that in, but make sure if you're sending BNB, we have that network. Now, how much do we want to withdraw? First time you send anything, I would always recommend just doing a small amount to test because, you know, there's a few little hoops to jump through here. So I'm going to send 0 0.02, 0 0.02 BNB. And at the moment here, in my wallet, of course, you know, the zero. So I'm going to send 0 0.02. Uh, it says here how much I've got in total, just uh, almost 1.5, 1.05 rather. So um, that's fine. I'm going to click on withdraw. It's just warning us that BSC is selected as the network. That is correct. Because if you send, if you sent this through, let's say the wrong network, if you'd selected back here, let me get rid of this. If you'd selected in the network, the Ethereum network, let's say, then your money would be lost or your crypto would be lost. So it's important that we send it through the right network. So let's click withdraw. It's just asking us to confirm it is indeed BSC, which it is. Uh, it's confirming what we're doing. The amount, 0.02, well, it's 0.019500 because Binance take their 0 0.001, which is about 12 cents or something. Um, OK, again, it says the transactions cannot be cancelled. So make sure you're sending it to the correct address. Let's click continue. Now, the first time I saw this window, I was a little bit confused exactly what it meant. I'm being asked, and you probably will as well, for two pieces of verification. Firstly, an email verification code. We get emailed a code to our email address that's linked to our Binance account. So firstly, let's do that. I'm going to click get code. It says up here, email verification code has been sent. Let me go to my email email and you'll see that there's an email from Binance withdrawal request by the way this turns up instantly it always goes straight into the primary folder as well but possibly maybe the first time it might go into a different folder for you so you might want to check here's my verification code though which lasts for about 30 minutes so that's the code I need so if I go back to Binance I then paste that code in here so there's a lot of security to go through which is great and then my Google Authenticator I have Google Authenticator on my phone this is optional but I do have it set up I set this up within the settings in Binance and so therefore, anytime I do anything, I also have to put in this code here. If you don't have Google Authenticator, you won't have this field on your uh, Binance or in your Binance account. But I get a code that changes every 15 seconds or so. There is mine. So now if I click Submit, we are in business. Come on. We have uh, requested that those funds get sent. Oh, I'm glad this has popped up. Sometimes, look, it says here, awaiting approval. Your withdrawal, your withdrawal request is being reviewed and will take approximately 12 hours. I don't know why they say this, because it takes seconds. I, I don't know whether this is a default thing. I'm not really sure. So if you see this, you've got nothing to worry about. By the way, after you click send, you will see here in recent withdrawals in your Binance account, what you've just sent. So here we here it says I've sent 0 0.0195 BNB. It's awaiting approval. Normally this takes a couple of minutes or so. Um, I'm just going to refresh the screen to see whether that now says completed. Otherwise I'll pause the video. Um, okay, it now says it's processing. Uh, there's various confirmations that take place on the blockchain just to make sure that everything's been sent. And uh, there's normally about 15 confirmations. As you can see, here it says uh, 9 out of 15. Let me go to MetaMask. It might be there already. Ah, oh, look, it is. There we go. So what was that? Maybe 35 seconds or so. So look, we've now got in our MetaMask some BNB. How cool is that? So if I toggle between my two different chains in the Ethereum chain, we've got nothing, of course, at the moment. But look, back in the BNB 
chain network. We now have some BNB, which is wonderful. This is exactly, exactly what we wanted. Uh, so I might, um, I might even send a bit more BNB right now from Binance just to, to put this up to a little bit more. Um, yeah, let me do that. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. OK, so what I'm doing now is I'm sending one BNB, one BNB uh, token in total. So I've just gone through the whole thing again, put my address in and this time choosing one BNB as opposed to 0 0.02. So let me click submit. And uh, again, this will take a few minutes to go through. Let me click complete there. And again, at the very bottom here, it will say, you know, processing. So if I go back to MetaMask, we can see the uh, the 0 0.01 that's just turned up. I'm going to pause this video again and come back in about 60 seconds. And that should now be 1 point, you know, 0 0.0195. So let me pause the video. That was about 35 seconds again. 1.019 BNB now in my MetaMask wallet. Guys, this is a big deal. You're funding your MetaMask. This is the the conduit into the into the DeFi world that will allow you to earn passive income. You begin to see now why not everybody, of course, is doing this. But not everybody is like you, prepared to spend a bit of time learning these skills. This video has probably been the longest video so far. I don't like these long videos, as you know, but I didn't want to break this up. So let's summarize. What did we accomplish in this video? Well, big video this video. We sent some BNB from Binance, whether it's .com or .us, it doesn't matter. And we sent it to our MetaMask wallet. Remember, of course, to make sure you have the BNB chain selected at MetaMask when you do this, because if you are using Binance, what do I want you to do now? I want you to go and do exactly this. Go and send some BNB from Binance to your MetaMask wallet. This is really, really exciting. Uh, do a small amount at first just to test it like you saw me do, 0 0.02. And please post a comment below. I want to see your comments saying you've sent some BNB from Binance if you're using Binance to your MetaMask. Really well done. Whew, long video, this video. Um... Let's do the same thing, but not using Binance. Let's go from Coinbase and send some Ethereum to MetaMask. Let's do that in the next video.